welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful punch for a girl. But the main purpose of this video is that you learn how to make this new stitch. You will see that it's so beautiful. You can use it in so many different other things and maybe you can make this punch also for yourself. In the video I will show you how you can make it for a bigger size if you want you can decorate this poncho with this ribbon and you can make it in different colors and with different combinations as i told you this is for a girl and i made 70 chains as a base chains and if you want for an adult you can make 120 or 130 according to the size and the long you will decide if you want it shorter or longer but well remember that before we start it's important that you subscribe Let's start. To buy all the materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es and we will send it right to your house. So while we learn how to make this stitch, we will make a poncho. We will use this material, this is a fine angorita and I will use a degraded color. It will go from light yellow to darker yellow and we will use a hook of number four we will start making chains and it is important that for this poncho you make the chains that you need according to the size of the head of your kit because remember that you will wear the poncho by the head and it has to perfectly fit i will make this poncho for a small size this is a small size in a range of kits, okay? I made 70 chains, as you see I made these chains loose. But before we close, please make sure that these chains perfectly fit to your uh, the head of your kit and when you wear this poncho, you won't have any problem, okay? So before, make sure of that, once you're sure, try not to twist and now you can close in circle. We will slip one to close like this okay so once we close we are going to turn over insert the hook in the first stitch and bring them through so we are going to make half double crochets one in each stitch at the end we must have the same number of half double crochets that the number of chains that we made as base chains and this will be the first row like this is how we are going to continue see you at the end well at the end of the row please check that you didn't twist if you did well here is a step to fix it once you are sure well you are going to slip one to close and then we are ready to continue with the next row so please it is important that we stop in this step okay then so let's close and now we are going to continue we will repeat we are going to continue making the half double crochet so half double crochet over half double crochet and see you at the end of this row and then i will show you what's next so this will be the neck if you want a longer neck well you should make more rows like this one but now we will continue i will just have two rows of half double crochets and then this row I will make two half double crochets in each stitch maybe if you make it for yourself you can make it at the longer uh, neck and you can fold it and you will look nice too but I suggest that for kids it is better that we lift these two rows neck because then it will it is like kind of uncomfortable for, for kids so like this we are going to continue the whole row Look, I finished the row making two half double crochets in each stitch. Well, the fourth row, we will start making this stitch. We will pull, we will turn over, and now we will insert the hook and we will take the hook in relief in the first stitch. So we will insert the hook right here. So this is the first stitch. We will bring it in there, and now we are going to make puff. Remember that the puff we turn over before we insert the hook and three then we bring them through one chain 
Well, then we will skip one. And in the next one, we are going to make a shell. So we are going to make a double crochet, one more. So here we have two, then two chains, and then two double crochets together also in the same stitch, in the same space, okay? <laughs> we skip one and two, and right here in the third, you see, in the third stitch, we are going to and take it in relief and right there is where we are going to make the puff we are going to insert the hook three times then we are going to bring them through one chain then we'll skip one two and here again in the third we are going to make a, a shell and this is how we are going to continue the whole row we are going to make a puff then a shell skipping two spaces in between well here we finish the row according to the number of chains that you made Please fix that you have a shell and then a puff, that you have to see it correct. If not, well, please correct and make more chains if you need to. So, well, once you are sure, please close the row and skip one. And we will have something like this. Okay, now to continue, we will start with puff. I fold a little bit so I can take the stitch better. So you see, before I insert the hook, I pull, and then we will repeat the puff. Well, we will insert the hook three times, and before we insert the hook, we turn over. So we uh, make one chain too close, and now we will continue in the next space to make the shell. So it's two double crochets, then one, two chains, and again in the same space, two double crochets. Then we are going to make the puff in relief, okay? one two and three bring them through one chain and then we will continue with the shell like this is how we are going to continue the whole row and we will continue making shell over shell and puff over puff well look i made the rows that i need according to the size that i want remember that it's for a kid i count the rows and i made 11 rows if you want you can make more or less please before try on and see if you get like it or not and if the style it's enough if the long it's enough okay at the end i will make a last row for a peg for edge so the edge will be like this we will make the puff over the puff also three times we will insert who we will bring them through and then in the next space We'll start making one double crochet then three chains and we will come back to the first stitch after the double crochet and right there we are going to make a big cut. Again a double crochet, then one, two, three chains and a big cut. Remember that I made the big cut like a kind of single crochet, you see? It's not like the regular big cut you, you may know. So this one is different. I made this because I want to have a kind of division between each double crochet. So you see here I have three double crochets, each one with one picot, like this. So here we have, as I told you, this will be the fourth with a picot. Remember, it's important that you insert your hook taking these two threads. Oh, oh no, I made it, yes, like single crochet, and we will make one double crochet more, but this fifth double crochet, we want to make a picot. So you see, we made four with picot and one without. And then we will repeat the puff. So you see, we are going to make puff over puff, and then for this final row and for the edge, we will repeat the shell five double crochets and four picots like this the whole row at the end of the row you will have something like this you will cut sorry i don't have fine money scissors but well i will cut and i will hide this thread later if you want you can decorate in this case i use this ribbon that i found but you can use a brush or you can leave it like this you know that i always like to add a final detail so i can give it as a gift so look at it 
I love how it looks remember that we won't iron this piece and let's see how it looks well so what do you think I hope that you have enjoyed making this stitch and that you have enjoyed making this beautiful poncho too remember that you can use this stitch for many other things and you can use this poncho also as a skirt if you want I remember that my daughter when she was a girl she used to like more to wear ponchos than sweaters she found it more comfortable so I hope that you make it for your kids too and you can make one for you too so I hope that you really make it that you give me a like that you subscribe and that you leave me a comment it's very important for me it's the best reward that you can give me and also that you share this video if you like it don't forget to follow me on my social media too in Instagram, Facebook and Pinterest where I share different content and remember that we have also YouTube stories where I share when I have a new video also don't forget to participate in the community section that we have here in YouTube where I share different pictures I make surveys where you can participate where I ask you what you want to uh, watch next where I make you questions about stitches and stuff well thank you so much for watching see you in the coming videos well please don't forget to tag me in your stories so I can see what you are making and you, we can share more ideas thank you so much and see you soon bye